hello and welcome to another video. Today we will talk about the network fees. So as you already know or should know, whenever you do a transaction, you're paying a fee, so a network fee. So for example, if you would send XOP from this account to my second account, so we'll send zero, so not, uh, I will send 0 0.01, for example, XOP to my, so from this account to the Dev2 account. I hope that's the right window. Yep. Um, then it will slide and sign that. Okay. Um, now I have to do it again. Okay, so now it works, I think. Okay, great. So when I do that, I will have to pay. Uh, I will have to pay the network fee for sending this transaction. And currently, when you do a transaction, the fees uh, is twelve drops. So twelve twelve million of one XRP. So when you look at that here, you can just see my transaction here. And if you click on that, so on the transaction hash, I can see the individual transaction. And we can see here the fee. So the 0 0.00012 XRP, or uh, meaning 12 drops. And as we know, initially there were 100 billion XRP. And this amount is always decreasing because there will never be more than the initial 100 billion uh, uh, and to correct that, actually, it's decreasing because, as we know, these fees which are being paid, they are being burned. They are gone forever. So these 12 drops which, which are just paid here, they will never be restored. Nobody else will get them, and they are gone forever. And meaning that it's that that XOP itself, so the native asset XOP, is um, inflationary by by design. And we can see also that if we go to metrics, so. On website xopcharts.ripple.com, you can go to network and go to metrics, and you can see here uh, a tab, so a chart called uh, network fee, and we will do that on a daily chart. You can see here that on a daily basis, so total fees, that on a daily basis are about whatever, 600 to 1,000, 2,000, whatever, so let's say one to 3,000 XOP are being burned every day. So it's not a lot, but it's it's still happening. This is a this is a ongoing process, and and also to highlight here that currently the XRP ledger isn't isn't ha isn't having like that much uh, throughput currently. So meaning that in, so the throughput is there, so the the system would support it. But as we can see here, that one ledger is having, for example, here thirty four transactions and then forty three. Uh, so meaning like about whatever like 10 transactions per second so as you can see here the average uh, confirmation time is 3.8 seconds so it takes 3.8 seconds to validate 43 transactions even though this could for example do much more but currently the current speed what the, pro what the system is processing is like I said um, uh, these um, 33 or 36 transaction and like I said so for 46 divided by uh, 3.8 for example and then we get the result of whatever 10, trans ten transactions uh, per validated block and yeah so meaning that if also like the amount of transaction obviously gets increased there will be also more burning and yeah that's just the thing I want to highlight here you can also individually set the fee a little bit higher than that um, so the fee is only 12 XOP um, it can also be lowered and so meaning that, for example, if XRP is more valuable at the time, also the fee can be uh, lowered. But I would I would like to highlight here that even if XRP, well, even if XRP is, for example, worth ten dollars or hundred dollars, the fee is still relatively low. So still whatever under cent. All right. So yeah, it's a this here. So XRP Trust is a great website to look at all of that. Also, if we look at, so we can also see here the active accounts. Uh, so one last metric can also see on the network, uh, metrics again, uh, the remaining supply. So there, there should be one chart here, which we would have to look up, I think. So these are the types of transactions, accounts, and so here, Marcus, so here we can see all the charts about the DEX, so the decentralized exchange. Oh, this one would be uh, this would be about all the normal exchanges, but there's also a a place for the DEX. We can see how much trading volume is on the DEX. We'll go to the base size. So yeah, right. I think we should see here. Yeah, we can see here the total XRP. So on the on the main side, you can see it here. We've got still left ninety nine. 
billion nine hundred and ninety million three hundred thirty thousand and forty point of three XRP. And you can see that amount is decreasing constantly. So you can see here now it's for the nine point eighty six. Now it's for 9.85 and so this decreases all the time because as I just told you there are network fees and those are being burned. They are gone forever. And right so that's basically it. So um, right so thanks for watching the video and see you in the next one.